Good afternoon, everyone. Interesting, Mark and I are in the same space. It's been an interesting journey for both of us. Um, almost nine years. When we started the business, solar is like $6 a watt. Now it's like half the price. And it's getting better and better, uh, which is something I want to touch on the storage too, which is actually also getting better and better. Right? Um, the, the, the interesting dynamics here is, it's all efficiency and all of us working together in the industry, right? Like Mark just pointed out is what we see everywhere, right? Heating, cooling system guys are there. You have your expertise and then you have a lighting and so much happening. And for us, solar comes as the, as the last on the list is just because you are on the energy generation standpoint, right? So I think that's the good life cycle to engage with an architect, with whoever you're working with, energy auditor, all those elements are very important in this whole process. The same thing now I want to touch upon on the, the batteries. If solar is, say, at $10,000 seven years ago, now if we are talking 5000 the batteries are at the same price right now. At almost at 10 you can go to Tesla.website and you can see what they're selling it, right? A 10 kW, a 10,000 kilowatt hours is almost at $10,000 a home. They want to do it. And if we want to do a multi-home, which we are actually in the process of putting together a big battery, it's almost coming to half the price. And if we are even working with the municipalities in Puerto Rico and all that, it's actually coming to $300. So it's there, but it's not there for homes yet, but it is coming, right? Um, so that's about the company. Um, we both started at the same time, very passionate about solar. And, and our focus has shifted from residential to commercial. Now we are more into the multi-homes, bigger projects, and things like that. But I strongly feel every home will have a solar and a battery is the future, the way how we see it. And that's what is happening in the market which we are in, which is Puerto Rico, to my surprise. Every project that we are quoting, everyone wants a battery because the cost is like 25 cents, right? Where we are also seeing from 15 to 16 to 17 to 20, it's coming, right? So the cost of energy. So right now the industry is all lithium based, but there is a lot of other technologies are happening. Um, and the market is very much lithium oriented because auto industry is also pushing, which is actually a good news for being in the home business. They're gonna go first and we're gonna come in second, which actually that economy of scale, volume driven, will actually help every homeowner, every home builder, the way how I see the future. So that's the, the good thing. And we all know the climate and the power outages. I mean, this is all nothing new for us. And like the way I said, every project that we are doing these days are all storage, whether it's a small, big, everyone wants some battery to it. So because of these reasons. Even on the storage, uh, there are two um, basic elements in there based on the cost right now it is there, right? So there are mobile units. I know Brett said he got one unit as a sample somewhere here, right? This is something it's gonna look like this. You can, you know, kind of mobile, you can take it wherever you want to go based on your lifestyle, which actually we sold quite a bit of them in Puerto Rico right now when, when this, you know, whatever the hurricane happened, right? Um, before we could even sell the solar panels, the batteries have all gone. I mean, that's the reality that we faced because you can run whatever the basics that you need with this. So I, I know this part of the state, you have power loss for two hours, four hours, whatever, so you can start with something small like this, right? All you get is a battery, smaller system with a, um, a, a basic like two, three panel system. And then at least you can have your basics covered with it, like your router, your cell phone, your laptop, whatever the basics are, right? And the light at home, things like that. So that's the one. So when you're looking at it from a home perspective, this is something a good starting point from a storage standpoint, right? The good old UPS for computers that we used to have, this you can run a subset of your home, 5% of your home in a way. 
no, it's a total, you can, it's, it's a plug and play, it's 20 pound, I mean, you can carry wherever you want, and if your friends lost power, you can charge it to your home and take it to your friend, whatever, right? So that's how it is. And that's what happened to us in Puerto Rico. And then comes the bigger systems, right? Like the way I said, um, it's in the $10,000 range for every 10,000 kilowatts, you get 10,000 kilowatts of system, right? So that price is coming down, but from a home perspective, it's like a standard install. Let me actually go to the next slide, uh, which is uh, more of an architecture, right? So just because the cost is so high, the way the design is, you create a subset backup panel so that what power you want to, where you want to run, your fridge, your light, whatever the backup panel is, and then you power through that backup panel what you need because you can't run the entire home. Entire home might cost you like fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000, but just a subset of your home can run on whatever the basic necessities are. So that is the kind of a, a starting point you know, if, if you're losing power at home, that's where you would start, right? Um, and the systems are all modular, means you can start out with the one battery stack and you can add more and more based on your consumption, right? So that's another important element of the design. You don't have to put all the thirty, forty thousand dollars up front, so you can take it in a modular approach with respect to the stacking the product. And being in this space for so many kind of years with the lessons learned, so we have like a pre-designed systems that comes with something, what you can run as a basic storage stack that you can actually start kind of deploying at home or you know in your construction activities or whatever. So that's kind of a, a way that we are seeing the systems because it's too expensive to customize, but we can say here is the battery size that now you tell us what you need from your home perspective and how many hours you want to run each one. So when you're working with your installer, your architect, your whoever, your consultant, you have to have a fair understanding on what your requirements are because every home requirements based on their lifestyle is different, right? I mean, I have seen even some homes having a oxygen cylinder pump that they need to run just for the basic things, you know? So, so that's the lifestyle, right? So that's, that's the storage. So we're going to open up for questions.